Hey, this is Racing the Green. I just wanted to post a quick video, uh, kind of recapping uh, what I'm doing with the Smart Garden. As you can see, we pretty much finalized the uh, control box with the Arduino in it and moved the fan to the outside. But the rest of this video is actually going to be pretty much about, yeah, as you can see, some uh, tomatoes that we uh, are already have growing. Um, the garden's growing great. We need to add some more vegetables to it. Um, we got the second bed built and we need to add some dirt to that one. But this video is going to be about me actually attempting to, at least, um, power my home office uh, from the, some of the excess solar that I have available. Uh, I have two 300-watt uh, panels on top of the um, tool shed, and uh, I started to try to power it from this generator here, which is a 12-volt generator, and found that that wasn't the best route. Uh, I couldn't figure out how to actually... Uh, convert a uh, UPS that I had inside the uh, office to work well with this and then I found I had some spare parts and I love reusing spare parts from my beginning into solar that I bought and didn't end up being able to use. So the green cable here is actually a piece of extra <laughs> extension cord that we had left over from putting the uh, transfer switch in the art studio so I got to use that as well which is nice to be able to recycle just about anything I didn't have to actually really buy anything for this project and it's saving me money already but anyway that uh, cable runs into my 24 volt uh, solar generator inverter system um, that's the uh, inverter and the controller down there and this top piece of the Ryobi link kit is actually the uh, JAG35 battery that I, uh, it's a DIY build. Um, I don't know that I actually have a video for that. I have a, a video for, or a time lapse video of a smaller battery build that's very similar using the same types of uh, um, JAG35 uh, uh, PCB um, battery um, carriers. And this one has 168 18650 batteries in it. And this is what I'm powering the home office from, at least during the day and that kit has been doing well everything stayed dry inside there I had some water on top of the solar generator the other day but uh, for now it all seems to be working well so anyway I'm gonna go down to the uh, 24 volt uh, uh, inverter and a, uh, the actually we're gonna look up at the, uh, the connection panel there we're gonna do some work on that another project on actually building a solar tracker that will lift this uh, the roof of this to get a little better uh, uh, voltage uh, in a later video but we have fans on this that are temperature controlled uh, they have a little board in there that uh, samples the temperature and turns the 12 volt fans on when it gets hot to run air through it they got one on each side and that is the 24 volt uh, 100,000 watt uh, uh, inverter pure sign when we have inverter and my favorite brand right now still for solar charge controllers that is an Epever uh, 30 amp uh, solar controller in there and that is what is feeding uh, my ability to uh, uh, solar power the uh, home office or at least part of the, so the home office and also get all the stats that I need to know whether it's working or not. So this is the readout from the phone app for the app ever for that actual uh, charge controller there. And it's showing that uh, the load, which is, I'm pulling this out of the uh, the load outputs out of the charge controller, is showing that the uh, home office is using about 200 to 250 watts. And we're getting about 400 watts of solar. So we're doing fine during the daytime, but that doesn't necessarily mean that we're gonna have enough wattage uh, for, the evenings. Uh, we're going to follow the cables along here. It actually goes along to the inside of the house. And this system, originally I had this, the two uh, 300 watt panels that are on top of that shed. It's on the roof of the shed above you there in the video. I had them split out and one of them was charging the, uh, the just solar generator there and the other one was charging the uh, Ryobi batteries that we have in there. We have the, obviously you can see the uh, um, 40 uh, volt uh, Ryobi batteries and then we have the, the 18 volts for all the, the smaller tools. But we ran this extension cord along the wall here. Uh, I think I can get just enough of a, of a focus so you can see where it's going into the wall. And it's pretty high, high gauge uh, 
uh, extension cord and once again I, I mentioned I uh, am reusing uh, what was left over from uh, building the transfer switch in the art studio so anytime you can reuse something it's been sitting in a coil up in my garage so I'm glad I, we got to we were able to find a use for it but so the system is producing about 400 watts of solar during the day uh, according to the app ever app and the system that I'm running, uh, if I powered all of my home office, which would include my work laptop, my work uh, monitors, and then I have a personal workstation that's a, uh, for those geeks out there like me, it's a dual Xeon 32-core, uh, 32-V-core uh, total system that I run a lot of simulations on. Yeah, I'm a systems engineer and uh, I'd like to have a, a home lab that I do some virtualization uh, uh, um, simulations for, for work that I do throughout the day. But the problem with that particular workstation, it's a beast. It used to be a high-end graphic station, probably a six or seven thousand uh, dollar workstation, and it uses a ton of juice, probably 250 watts by itself. So that cable comes inside the office. There was actually already a hole there and we just had to enlarge the hole slightly and that brings those cables coming from the Epever uh, solar charge controller into this EcoWorthy hybrid charge controller inverter UPS which is the first thing I ever bought for solar. We thought we were going to use it for the art studio but it wasn't good enough for the art studio uh, based on how it powers things. But I have found it to be just about perfect for this usage. So I think it's about a $350 uh, hybrid uh, charge controller. It's got a 3,000 watt uh, pure sine wave inverter in it. I believe the solar charge controller is only a PWM uh, charge controller. But as you can see, um, this is showing the Epever's usage and the PV they were getting and the amount we've been getting three to four watt, uh, kilowatts per day out of the two 300 watt panels, which has been nice because because it had though I hadn't been using any power really from that system, so it was charging that uh, JAG35 battery that I showed earlier up fully and then it would stop charging. So we were essentially giving up solar power we could have been using throughout the day. Uh, and we were getting a solid uh, 400 watts from those panels. So I wanted to use that for something. And I had thought of when we first built the tool shed of somehow getting the uh, power back into the home office and see what I could do with it. I think all told with all of, of my work systems and then my personal uh, workstation, I think I use somewhere around 400 watts uh, at any given time. And unfortunately for my workstation, a lot of times the simulations I run need to be running all through the night. So I can't actually power the system down. And because of the way uh, uh, the VMware Workstation Pro works, I also can't uh, put the computer in sleep mode, which would drop it quite a bit in power usage. So I have to have it running at basically 200 watts all through the day. And that battery doesn't have enough juice to keep everything powered. The beauty of the system in that this uh, eco-worthy system is when the power goes runs out of uh, battery juice coming from that battery system this eco-worthy plugs into the wall and then can switch over to house power and it does it without any blip I, my computer doesn't even see it happening and then switches over to house power for the rest of the night and then immediately turns right back on in the morning when the solar power comes in so it's ended up being, uh, although it didn't work for our initial uses, it's ended up being very useful. And I am now saving probably $100, $150 a year in, with the solar. You see it's showing uh, basically t the 0.21, that means 200 kilowatts. So anyway, that's me powering my home office system. Like and subscribe if you're interested in this content. Thanks, bye.